Hey, Freedom Finders, having the right offer and building your email list is amazing, but it's the engagement that fuels long-term success, both for you and your customer. In this video, I'm talking about connecting and nurturing your audience. If you've been watching some of my other videos, you know that I've been helping BCBAs like you learn the steps they need to take to create their own business that doesn't rely on insurance funded or school-based services. Starting a business is the most powerful way that BCBAs can take control of their career and you get to help other people while you do it. So it's a win-win. Like I said, this video is about engaging your customer. Engagement isn't just about selling. It's about getting to know your customer and helping them get to know you. To successfully engage your audience, focus on adding value. Give them tips, answer questions, spark curiosity. Show them you're there to support them and help them reach their goals. Every interaction you have with your customer should serve them in some way. Engage in two-way communication by responding to emails and comments on social media. Host Q&As or interactive webinars. Show your personality when you engage with your customers. Let your brand voice and passion shine through in every interaction. You don't need to be a celebrity, just be you. Be genuine. There will always be people who disagree with your viewpoints or who aren't a good fit, but your ideal customer will love you for who you are. Finally, engage consistently with your audience. Show up regularly in email, on social media, through blog posts, or on YouTube. Make sure all your messaging is consistent and aligns with your brand. This avoids confusion and will keep your customers loyal. One way to be able to be more consistent and get more mileage from your content is to repurpose it. Take a previous blog post or video or webinar and convert it to different formats. You could turn a blog post into a social media carousel or share one of your videos via email. You will need to edit the content to make it fit a different format, but using content that you already have will give you a huge head start and help you show up consistently. You can also repurpose your content by highlighting different angles in your existing content. You could pull out subtopics for a deeper dive in emails or for a quick tip in social posts. Your engagement should have a balance between providing useful solutions to your customers' problems and helping them see you as a human that they want to join forces with. Engagement can do more than just sell your product. It can actually start a movement. A movement develops when your audience joins forces toward a common cause or against a shared enemy. When you start a movement, you create a tidal wave of change. The side benefit of starting a movement is that your business starts to grow exponentially. Use stories to draw your audience in and show your values. If you missed my video on storytelling, you definitely want to check it out. Stories are one of the best ways to engage your audience. Here are five ways you can use storytelling to engage your audience across various platforms. Tell a case study transformation. Instead of just listing features of your services, share a short case study of a customer you helped. Highlight the customer's initial struggles, the steps taken throughout your work together, and the ultimate breakthrough the customer achieved. Use the Epiphany Bridge story that I told you about in the other video. Tell stories that include behind the scenes insights. Share snippets of your daily work, whether it's planning sessions, glimpses into consultation, or the process of developing resources. This builds a sense of connection and shows the real person behind the expertise. Share your aha moment in videos. Share your own learning journey or epiphany bridge, a moment when you learned a key concept, a challenging experience that changed your perspective, or a lesson you learned from a mentor. This shows your continued growth and vulnerability, making you more approachable. Tell customer-generated stories. Highlight stories about your current customers in their own words. This provides social proof and lets potential customers see themselves in those achievements, building trust in a powerful way. Finally, use analogies to explain complex behavioral concepts. This can be especially effective in short form social media content, making your expertise accessible to a wider audience. So where will you put your engagement energy at first? Focus on just one platform to get started. Trying to be everywhere at once will cause major burnout and you won't be very effective. If email will be your primary engagement point, create a welcome series, send weekly tips, or start a challenge. 
if social media is where your audience is at, pick one platform but and be consistent and make sure to reply to all those comments. Engage in conversations on other people's posts. Or you could create a community or be active in an existing one. There are many online platforms that offer groups, or you can try creating an in-person community through Meetup if your ideal customer lives in your area. Building a loyal audience takes time. Show up, be genuinely helpful, and watch as trust grows. Pay attention to how your customers respond to you. Do more of what works and less of what doesn't. Share an idea for an engaging social post or email you could send in the comments below. Let's inspire each other. If you're ready to take the next step, check out this video where I talk about creating a launch mindset. That's it for now. I'll see you in the comments.